You're 17, right? I got a question. Can you come come point to Jesus for me? I need you to point to Jesus. Over here. Over here. Oh. Can you point to Jesus? Point to him for me. Oh. All right. So what what who do you look up to? You say your mama, right? Guess what? You need a man to look up to. Right. Because your mother can't raise you how to be a man. She can't teach you how to be a man. She's a woman. She can't she can't teach you that. You see that? You need a man to show you how to be a man because you're 17. Guess what? You, you about to graduate? Are you graduating? You finna graduate, right? And guess what? As soon as you graduate, guess who you gonna be? You might have been young and adorable, this squeak, my squeak, uh, TK or whatever, but it's gonna come to a point in your life so you're gonna have to do something. So that's what God is telling us. God is saying it's high time to wake out of sleep. No, but God is telling us, what's your name, young man? You said JK? How old are you? You're 17, right? I got a question. Can you come come point to Jesus for me? I need you to point to Jesus. Over here. Over here. Oh. Can you point to Jesus? Point to him for me. Oh. No, no, no. Huh? Jesus How do you know that? Okay, so the next your question. Since he black, right? He our race, right? So the things we do, right? Should we do the things that Christ do? But you say you're 17, right? Let me ask you a question. Who's your favorite rapper? You got a favorite rapper? Entertainer? Ron Wade. Wade. Okay. Anybody else? Okay, so give me a reference one. I want to show you something. Revelation 1, 14. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Out. His head and his hair were white like wool. Verse 1, verse 1. Verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. These was most surely come to pass. So this, what we're about to do, we're about to reveal the color of Jesus Christ, right? Now let's get down to verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hair. Well, white, white, woo. So I got a question for you. What race of people have woolly hair? Black people, right? Read them. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire, Green. and his feet. So now, John the Revelator looked down at Jesus Christ's feet, right? I'm looking at the top of your feet in the same color as your face, right? Read. And his feet, like a divine brass. Do you know the color of brass? You, you ever seen a brass instrument? The brass section? What color are those instruments? They go this brown, right? Well, you know. As if they burn in a furnace. So you take that brown and burn it, what color will it turn? What color? It turns black, right? So according to the Bible, what color was Jesus Christ? Huh? The Bible is black. Right, right. Now slow down. The Bible says Jesus Christ was a black man, right? It just described him in this, right? But why would we look at Google? Why would we go into churches? Why would we get on social media and Facebook, TikTok? Why are we always seeing a white image of Jesus Christ? Why is that? Let him know. Bring it out. You said it's a false image. It is a false image. Give me 2 Corinthians. See? You know what that false image is doing to you? It's destroying your mind. Because that image, guess what? Our grandparents grew up on that image. You ever heard of slavery? See? What, what, tell me some things that happened to black people in slavery. What happened to black people? Who was working the fields? What else happened? They was beat, they was killed. You ever heard of Emmett Till? Emmett Till was a 14-year-old boy that got killed in, uh, in, in Mississippi, right? So what happens is we grew up on a different type of teaching, right? Read that. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Oh. If he that cometh, preach of another Jesus. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. I, I got to read this one more thing. I got one more thing. This is my last one for you. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. You're 17. You need to be learning it because I'm going to tell you, at 17 years old, Satan wants you at 17 years old. Right. They want you, you got a little girlfriend? You know, right? So, 
what, what, who do you look up to? You say your mama, right? Guess what? You need a man to look up to. Right. Because your mother can't raise you how to be a man. She can't teach you how to be a man. She's a woman. She can't, she can't teach you that. You see that? You need a man to show you how to be a man because you're 17. Guess what? You, you about to graduate? Are you graduating? You finna graduate, right? And guess what? As soon as you graduate, guess who you gonna be? You might have been young and adorable, this squeak, my squeak, uh, TK or whatever, but it's gonna come to a point in your life to where you're gonna have to do something. You see that? You have, you have to show yourself a man like the Bible says. That's right. You do that by applying what God wants you to apply. Because if you ain't learning God's truth, if you ain't learning the Bible, what you gonna grow up learning? No, you didn't. Read that again. Hey, I see you watching the video. You should go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Matter of fact, won't you like, subscribe, and share? IUIC Mississippi burning. Like, subscribe, and share. Even comment. For if he that came up, preach of another Jesus. Guess what? Your grandmother and your grandfather. That's who they learned. Hey, last scripture. They didn't learn anything about a black Messiah. They never learned Jesus Christ was black. Because what day they went to church on? They went on Sunday. Guess what? God don't say for you to go to church on Sunday. God says the Sabbath. You see that? That Jesus right there taught our grandmothers and grandfathers Sunday service. You see that? So your, grand your grandparents didn't learn the truth about the Bible. Jeez. They learned Christianity. Right. That's what they learned. Read on. For if he that came and preach of another Jesus, whom we have not preached, Read. or if you receive another spirit, another what? Another spirit. Your grandparents, our grandparents, you shake your head no, but I'm telling you, they have received another spirit. Because they celebrate Christmas. Your grandparents celebrate Christmas. What about Thanksgiving? They don't celebrate nothing, right? So what do they celebrate? Because you said they go to church on Sunday, but they don't keep the Sabbath. God told us to keep the Sabbath. They celebrate Passover. God told us to keep Passover. God told us all these things. You got to fly, young man. You got to fly. Look, it would behoove. We got, we got young men your age in our congregation, in our school. Might want to call them on the back. You might want to come visit us one day. Saturday, every Saturday at 2 o'clock. All right, I'm going to let you go. Finish that script. Which he have not received. Or yeah, another yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For he that came and preached of another Jesus. Verse 3. Verse 3. But I fear, that's by any means, as a serpent beguiled Eve through his stupidity, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. See that? The simplicity that's in, it, that's, it's in Christ. It's easy to understand that Jesus Christ is a black man. It's easy to understand that. But the church has subverted our minds like the serpent did Eve. Read. For if he that came to preach of another Jesus, whom we have not preached. In every black community, you got a white Jesus doctrine being pushed. Right. Our forefathers never taught that. Paul, Matthew, the disciples, they didn't teach anything about a white Jesus. They never taught Sunday service. They taught the Sabbath. Right. Three. Or if you receive another spirit. Or another spirit. Our people, black people, have received another spirit. We don't have the spirit of God. We have the spirit of Satan. Three. Which you have not received. Or another gospel. Another what? Or another gospel. Another gospel is, you know what? God love everybody. Jesus Christ came and died for everybody. That's not in the Bible. Right. God don't love everybody. Jesus Christ did not come and die for every race, creed, and nationality. That's not biblical. That's another gospel that they preached to us. In slavery. When, when, when they was hanging us from trees, when they was dragging Emmett Till's body, when they threw Emmett Till in the Tallahassee River, John 3.16, for God so loved everybody, was in the Bible then. Nation is men leading by example.
shit is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord.